is the last day to register to vote in New Jersey and in Pennsylvania next week's deadline is quickly approaching. In Delaware, the registration deadline has already passed, but there is still time to get a mail-in ballot for those who did register. Howard Monroe spoke with both sides in the first state about the importance of voting and the challenge presented by mail-in voting. Our whole region needs to get involved and we need to vote. Vote like your life depends on it. Because it does. A plea from Congresswoman Lisa Blunt Rochester to get out to vote. Blunt Rochester is Delaware's at large representative. She is running against Republican Lee Murphy for a third term. What is so important about people being involved in this process of, of being out there and voting? This election has consequences that will be for decades, generations. Um, it's always important to vote. But I think the fact that we are in the middle of a pandemic, um, people need to feel safe when they vote. In Delaware, the deadline to register to vote has passed. According to data released by the state, over the course of this year, voter rolls have increased by over 20,000 voters. But due to the pandemic, officials are preparing for a high number of mail-in ballots. The last day to request a mail-in ballot in Delaware is October 30th. Governor John Carney says he believes the system will work. I'm very confident. I don't, uh, I'm not as concerned as you hear some about a voter fraud. I, I'm concerned more about people forgetting and not getting their ballot in. Mail-in ballots must be returned by 8 p.m. on November 3rd. Meanwhile, the Delaware Republican Party sued over the state's mail-in ballot system. GOP Chair Jane Brady says there are glitches in the system that could disenfranchise some voters. I want every vote to count 100%, whether it's for my candidates that I support or not. I think that we need to have faith in the integrity of the election. And I do think that it is compromised when things don't go well. Howard Monroe, CBS3 Eyewitness News.